good my lovelies and welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing aries reading from august 31st to september 6th if you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram you'll find me at lovely soul empress as i stated this reading is for aries sun moon rising and venus as well as for the cross watcher if you're dealing with the aries or someone who has that important placement um, I already prayed, shuffled, and meditated on the decks. I did get a uh, two messages for you. The first was um, the Five of Swords. And the second one was pay attention to the red flags. So I feel like somebody, you could have been in a conflict with somebody and they're trying to win at any cost and spirit is advising you to pay attention to the red flags this could be in your relationship or someone around you okay so we're gonna jump right in um if you've watched me before you know i like to take jumpers i will continue to do that but i'm going to pull from soul's journey deck to see um if there's any messages that come through from the beginning spirit can i get two cards for my uh aries gang Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One more, Spirit. Oh, you got a bunch. I'm only going to take these uh, first two that fell. I will look at these. Freedom, fear, and discipline. So uh, you might be trying to tap in some inner strength right now. Uh, you might be afraid of a situation. Um, or maybe you're afraid to take back your freedom, okay? But um, peace. Okay, with that five of swords, I can believe that I am uh, a being of love and release all negative energy. So spirit is telling you not to take in this negative energy, raise your vibration and loneliness. I know that I'm never alone and I'm getting two messages with this. Okay, this uh, situation might make you feel lonely, but as well, spirit is telling me right now that you have a very strong spirit guides and they want you to know that they're always with you. Okay. All right, so we're going to jump right in now and um, get your cards. Spirit, can um, show me what you have for my Aries gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. Virgo, I mean, Aries. Aries, Spirit. Aries. You might be dealing with a Virgo. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus most important messages they need to know right now spirit for their highest good ever so thankful and grateful for the blessings please allow those benevolent spirit guides and ancestors to come through and give the messages to aries sun moon rising and venus one more spirit thank you seven of cups at the bottom of the deck is the overall energy okay so Aries, you have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. At the heart of the matter, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Your partner has the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant. And we're going to jump right in and start to clarify. Spirit, why is the Two of Swords here for my Aries gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Two of Swords, Spirit. The Two of Swords is being clarified by the Two of Swords, okay? So this is talking about being stuck, having a veil over your eyes, as you can see in both pictures. Um, she's Her eyes are covered, okay? Um, and you might feel like you're at a crossroads and you don't know what to choose at this time. I'm going to get one more for this. Spirit, why the Two of Swords with the Two of Swords for my Aries gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why the two swords with the two swords, spirit? So you're feeling defensive right now with this nine of wands. This is Aries, Leo, and Sag. That's your energy, all right? You're trying to stand your ground, although you may not know which direction to go in. Okay, then you have the seven of swords here, spirit. Why is the seven of swords here? For my Aries gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, the Ace of Pentacles. 
So the Seven of Swords is talking about some type of deception. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Somebody could have been um, manipulative or a, um, I just heard a thief. They could have promised to give you this pentacle, but really they were trying to take from your situation. Spirit, let me get one more. Seven of Swords. Wow, flew out with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? So you could be in the Queen of Swords energy because you feel like somebody was trying to be deceptive or steal from you. Um, and you're uh, showing up as this Queen of Swords. Or if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you need to be careful because their motives may not be pure. But the Queen of Swords, she... Um, she is the queen who already knows. She will hear you out, but she's waiting to see if you tell her the truth. If not, she'll cut you with the sword. So I feel like this very much so could be your energy. Like I said, though, you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You need to watch if their motives are pure. Spirit, four uh, pentacles. Why is the four of pentacles here for my Aries gang? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So you're holding back with this four of pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, you could be holding it back financially, emotionally, physically, mentally, okay? But this is due to the seven of wands. You felt like there was a lot of conflict and competition in this situation, and you're standing your ground. I feel like you feel defensive towards this person. But you have gone, you see how she's like in a protective bubble above the rest, okay? And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're trying to stay out of the fray, but also hold back from a situation. Four of Pentacles with this Seven of Wands spirit, why? Yeah. Yeah. Because of the star, which is uh, Aquarius. Now, remember, I just said, I showed you the card. She's in a bubble above the rest. This person knows that about you, okay? The star is the card of Aquarius, all right? This is talking about um, favor from the universe, healing, balancing out. So what I feel like is... Um, this person sees you as a star. Also, if you see, she has a direct connection to the divine. And I did tell you that your um, that spirit wanted you to know that your ancestors and your spirit guides are very much with you. For you not to feel alone at this time. And you are um, above the rest of the competition. Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter for my Aries gang? So the Ace of Pentacles is um, a seed for abundance. Okay, this also could be a major purchase, a home, a car, um, a night out. It could be several different things. But I feel like this person is trying to come in and give you their pentacle. This is the Knight of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But the Knight of Cups... I kind of take as like, and I love you slash apology card, okay? Spirit, why is this Knight of Cups here with this Ace of Pentacles? Knight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Yeah, um, this person has a burden of passion for you. Now, when uh, you see tens, it's endings. I feel like they want to let go of these burdens. I feel like you want to let go of these burdens too. The only thing is that... Um, this person was uh, manipulative, and so you're holding back from them right now. Now, your partner has the Knight of Cups, which we just talked about in the heart of the matter. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit, why is the Knight of Cups here for Aries partner spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So the Knight of Cups, like I said, to me is an, an I love you, an apology card, right? So this person's coming back to you saying they... They're sorry for what they did. And then that's being clarified by the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is wanting to move away to calmer waters with you um, after um, whatever transpired. They know um, that they got to come with a good offer. But 
eight of swords okay you are not sure about um moving towards them you might even be stuck in your head a little bit about this situation spirit why is the knight of swords here for um aries partner spirit so the knight of swords is gemini libra and aquarius you got a lot of aquarius um but a lot of swords energy too Okay, so like I said, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is somebody rushing in with a truth, sometimes harsh, or the words that they use are not um, necessarily the best choice. Um, so I always feel like the Knight of Swords is coming in kind of um, rashly, all right? But it's because of this High Priestess energy. Uh, this is uh, Pisces. I get her also for Taurus and Gemini, and I feel like um, this person is, uh, they know that you're aware of what happened, even if they didn't tell you, and uh, they're, they're afraid now, so now they're trying to rush in. Uh, they're also getting uh, some type of message themselves, like if they don't come forward now, they could lose you, so um, they're going to rush in. They just might not do it in the best way. Spirit, Knight of Swords with the High Priestess. Spirit, Knight of Swords with the High Priestess for Aries. Yeah, they're trying to tap into their inner strength with this strength card. This is the card of Leo. Okay? Um, because they, like I said, they're concerned like it could be a now or never situation. They might also feel that if you're too lonely, you might go looking for some someone else. But um, them getting you back would be the nine of cups for them, their wish fulfillment. Spirit, why is the Hierophant here for Aries partner, Spirit? So the Hierophant is Taurus. This is a, a, a head of a, a religious organization, a pastor, a preacher, uh, uh, could be somebody in the military or a judge, someone with some type of authority. This is also um, the Pope of the Tarot and as well the husband card. Okay, that's Taurus. And then it's being clarified by the Hierophant in reverse. So I feel like this person is really feeling out of balance right now. They might feel like they're, they don't know what their spiritual path is. Or if they can be a spouse at the moment. Or maybe it's that they don't really want the responsibility. Because I feel like this first Hierophant card is how they feel. Like they feel like they're your spouse, but they might not want to make that official. Okay, and I feel like they are also fighting their higher calling. This person might be somewhat low vibrational. Okay, now you have, let me get one more for this. Hierophant with Hierophant in reverse spirit. Why? For my Aries gang. Yeah, because of justice. Okay, this is the card of Libra. So they know that... Um, that they weren't fair with you. I think that they don't really know how to restore balance and that's why they're coming up uh, in reverse as the Hierophant. Now for some of you, if you're married to this person a small portion of you, they don't want to be married anymore. And it's because they have too many options with the Seven of Cups. And you do have the Seven of Cups as the overall energy. If they were married to somebody else, they're trying to get out of that situation so they can make it right with you. All right, let's clarify this Seven of Cups. Spirit, why is the Seven of Cups here as the overall energy for Aries? The emperor so the seven of cups is talking about too many options some of them that are viable and some of them that aren't 
and then the emperor this is aries this is you all right let me get one more spirit seven of cups with the emperor so um they might have had options before um now they're trying to bring balance into this situation but now you're the one with options okay so you're not sure if you want to deal with this person anymore and like i said this emperor is you now um aries um the emperor is a boss a ceo a manager independent contractor somebody with authority right they see you as such then you have here, that's being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So they feel like you're moving um, away from them, either physically, uh, spiritually, or emotionally, because now you have options. And this is causing them a tower moment. Death and rebirth, okay? It's a lot for them. They kind of almost feel betrayed by the fact that you have pulled back your energy, even though it seems like they were um, being very deceptive with you. And this is why you pulled back your energy, okay? Now I'm going to get um, a Manifest Your Soulmate card. Spirit, can you show me what would help Aries manifest the best outcome that they can for themselves for August 31st to the 6th? Try to be a rainbow in someone's someone else's uh, cloud. So I feel like um, I, every time I get this card, I always feel like somebody comes to you for advice. And then while you're trying to help them, um, you say something to, that, to them that puts a light bulb off in your own, um, in your own heart. Okay? Now I'm going to get some divine uh, love messages. Spirit, can you show me what um, Aries person is feeling but not saying? What is Aries person feeling but not saying, Spirit? Anything else? Anything else? Thank you. Why do you stay away from me? The game of running away must stop. There is nothing to fear. So this person um, is trying to come back into you, but you have your sword up with this Queen of Swords energy. And they don't feel like it's safe for them to come in. But uh, they also feel like fate brought you both together. And now I'm going to get some uh, divine love messages. I mean, um, love and romance, angel spirit. What does Aries feel for their person, spirit? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So uh, you feel like they're worth waiting for? Divine timing is at work in your love life. So you're you're just trying to let things happen as they may. And maybe that's what that seven of cups is about. Like you're like, um, if spirit wants um, me to be with this person, then it will manifest itself. And other than that, I'm like not concentrating on that. Spirit, can you show me what um, Aries person is feeling for them? Spirit, what is Aries person feeling for them? So they got new love in reverse. So first off, they don't want a new love and they don't want you to get one either. And that's because they feel you're their soulmate, okay? They see you retreating from them, okay? Um, and very soon they're going to try to flirt with you because it's making them nervous that you're not um, really being, um, like you're not saying much to them, spirit. What actions will Aries be taking towards their person, Spirit? What actions will Aries be taking towards their person? What actions will Aries be taking towards their person, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So right now, you're not really trusting this situation um, because of the, um, the Seven of Swords energy. Um, you got the forgiving and learning card, but I feel like you're not ready. As you release and heal the past, you're experiencing. Uh, you experience more love in your present moments so you're trying to do that but um it's coming with great difficulty that's why you had those two of swords back to back spirit what um what actions will aries person be taking towards them what actions will aries person be taking towards them you got the deception card so this person's still up to some tricks 
okay and uh, they are very attracted to you um, and they're gonna express their love to you and try to have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations but the unrequited love card is here um, I really feel like right now you're just not trusting this person you don't want to let them back in spirit what is the outcome for this situation for my Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus what is the outcome for this situation yeah you're retreating from this person right now okay so that's what I have for you guys um, this person is really not being honest with you and I did see, see that for some of you, they're after your coin, okay, with this Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. And then you also had the Emperor, so they probably feel like you have a lot of coin and uh, they would like to get some of that off of you, okay? So, um, Spirit, can you give us some advice for our Aries gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 31st? through um the sixth x returns see the x is gonna come back in um i don't think you're gonna let them back in not at this moment not this week anyway um you're still uh, not trusting them and that's what i have for you guys i just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for spending a little bit of time with me and if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.